The Iraqi government has revealed that as many as 560 protesters and security officials were killed in a massive anti-government demonstration. Prime Minister Mustafa al qadimis government has vowed to launch a detailed investigation into the deaths. The imprisonment of hundreds of protesters will also be reviewed by the government. All 560 people who died in last year's protests will be treated as martyrs by the Iraqi government. Their families will be offered 10 million dinars or $8,380 as compensation. The death toll published by the government is similar to what Iraqi media and rights groups have been reporting. The massive anti-government demonstrations began on the 1st of October in 2019. Thousands were on the streets protesting against corruption and economic ruin. And soon the protesters started calling for a complete regime change in the country. On many occasions these protests turned violent with security forces using tear gas, live ammunition and flashbangs with liberty. The protesters tasted success on the 29th of November when then Prime Minister Abdul Mahdi announced his resignation. After a few months of political uncertainty, Mustafa al qadimi took over as Prime Minister in May of 2020. Violence gripped Afghanistan on the eve of the much-awaited Eid al-Adha ceasefire. Just hours before the ceasefire came into effect, a car bomb attack in the provincial capital of Pule Alun claimed the lives of at least 18 people. The explosion targeted security forces stationed in Pule Alun, which is the capital of Afghanistan's Logar province. The city is located just 70 kilometers from the capital, Kabul. Government officials in the province said that Afghan security forces were also killed in this attack. 22 others were seriously injured and Afghan security forces had gathered in the city as part of security deployments ahead of Eid al-Adha. The Taliban has denied any involvement in this attack. The insurgent group condemned the incident and blamed the so-called intelligence circles for flaming hatred and targeting civilians. The three-day Eid al-Adha ceasefire has come into effect in Afghanistan. It was announced by the Taliban and welcomed by the government in Kabul. The government is hoping that the truce will expedite the beginning of intra-Afghan peace talks which remain stalled over a controversial prisoner swap program.